Hey, my little Paisanos, it's a me, Super Mario fan, and welcome one and all, as you may have heard about the title of this video, anyway, welcome one and all to my fifth episode of my series known as Known for the Worst, and yes, I always knew about the fact that I just love these types of things on my YouTube channel. And one of the things that I want to basically do as a YouTuber is just that I don't usually do videos for a living. But I honestly, but I honestly review, you know, a lot of things in the past. Like video games and like DVDs, well, mostly. And most of all, I tend to review an animated series of all TV shows that you love the most. Well, yeah, that's what I did. So... Between about the fact that my series, Known for the Words, is actually, like, you know, very similar to the, the, the mysterious Mr. Enter animated atrocities that he made. I'm just trying to say because of the fact that you just think of me as, like, do you honestly thinking that I took some inspirations from the mysterious Mr. Enter that he honestly reviewed episodes of each animated show of all the time and everything? Well, no. No, it's not, but anyway, I just, no, y'all of you cannot think of me as the mysterious Mr. Enter, or, oh my gosh, it's a mysterious, it's the mysterious Mr. Enter ripoff, or a blatant ripoff of the mysterious Mr. Enter. Well, I do pay respect for the dude because of the fact that he made animated atrocities and even admirable animations for a reason because I do adore his work and everything and I always knew about the fact that I as a YouTuber a Puerto Rican YouTuber who honestly do these types of things because I do videos for a living and not only do I do videos but I also do some story writing and everything because I am a writer and update on Koli Yoko Multiverse Episode 7. I've been having a little hard gaps between writing Episode 7 because of the constant heat and a little bit of writer's luck here and there. But don't you worry, y'all. I'll have Episode 7 out and between sometime before, in between sometime in September. So please just be patient because I'm currently hard at writing and everything. So please be patient to that. Okay, so the point is, it's just that I've been having a lot of trouble with, you know, why I don't upload videos on a daily basis and everything. Well, to tell you the truth, I've been very, very busy with a lot of things going on in my life. And not to mention, I also spend time with some of my family and all, and all of that. But, yeah. Well, anyway, I've been doing a lot of things in my mind recently because of the fact that I just had to change perspective and view and how I am improving my mental health, which is I am improving myself. And not to mention that I hope that all of you guys thinking that, oh man, Super Mario fan is not appearing on YouTube anymore. Well, heavily not. I can still, I can, st I am still doing YouTube, but for some reason, it's just not, it's not that kind of, like, I am not quitting or anything. I, I have been around on YouTube for the last seven years, ever since I uploaded one of my first videos in 2017. And, well, I do honestly believe because of the fact that I was absent-minded for so long, and because of the fact that I'm going to do this review of the video, and not only that, but I... But I didn't even upload a single video in August. The only times that I uploaded a video in August was on August 31st. Every year is August 31st. And you wouldn't even know that. Oh, anyway, all that aside, because today... I think, I think, the, I think this review will be another Spongebob review video. And I'm thinking that all of you guys have like it's been like a long time since I hadn't since I hadn't do another SpongeBob review video, and well, do you guys remember the whatever happened to SpongeBob review I made on my channel five years ago? Well, yeah, that's what I basically did. I do a review on on the season five special of who whatever happened to SpongeBob, and yeah. If you want to see the review, you can check you can check out on my playlist and in my channel if you want to see it. 
But anyway, the topic of Spongebob is just because of the fact that I want to do another Spongebob video review. And so, yeah. Believe it or not, but I do honestly believe that all of you guys have been waiting for this review for a long time. And not only that, but yeah. We're going to do another Spongebob video review, and this time... It's coming from one of the episodes, like, I don't know which season it is, but I do believe that it was season, uh, no. Oh, okay, okay, season aside, okay, the episode in question that all of you guys have been waiting for was my initial review on One Horse Meal. Yeah. You're probably expecting to see that of an episode coming from my mouth and everything, so... Yeah, one course meal. Do you guys remember that one episode where Mr. Krabs scares Plankton while he was wearing a pearl suit and he drove him, you know, drove him insane up to the point where where, Pl where Plankton outright wanted to take his own life? Well, yeah. And not to mention because, well, I'm not going to spoil the ending because you're going to be finding out in a few, mom a few moments before I do the review. And not only that, but I want to do this review because because I kept running out of ideas how, I'm gonna con how, how am I going to continue with Known for the Worst considering about there are a lot of worst episodes out there that I want to review on every August 31st. So, yeah. So, yeah. The review of today will be one course meal from SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay, then let's get started because I don't have an introduction, so let's let's get to let's get right to it. Anyway, so the episode starts with Mr. Krabs taking a money bath as usual while he was relaxing, and then he smells something afoul in the air, and he went into the kitchen to ask SpongeBob what that smell is, and the smell. When he described it, describe it as explosive. And as always, Plankton has entered the Krusty Krab and one and he once again tried to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula. SpongeBob and Patrick I mean SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs begin to fight Plankton. And Mr. Krabs used SpongeBob as a gun to shit out peas in his mouth. Plankton uses a bubble shoe and then he activates a claw that entraps the two. And then after that. Plankton tortures Mr. Krabs by tickling and tickling him, and he the reason why he's tickling is because he wanted to confess the secret location of where the Krabby Patty secret formula is, and then SpongeBob, of all people, just recently spilled the beans on the of the secret location of the Krabby Patty formula, which is, which is behind a painting, behind the safe, so yeah, SpongeBob, it's not very good at keeping secrets and everything, so... It all seems that all hope is lost. Plankton smells a foul in the air, and he smells... Well? Uh, yeah. He smells something in the air, and he realizes that it's a smell of whales. Yeah. And right on cue, enter Pearl Krabs into the kitchen. And... And as a state of reaction, Plankton got scared... Plankton is so scared about the fact that he decided to hide in the freezer, which confuses the the trio who watches Plankton from walking out of the freezer, and then he walks away. And then after the whole scenario happening, and not only that, but I'll tell you what, because Mr. Krabs just, well, warns Plankton that Pearl can actually eat him because of the fact that all whales eat tiny organisms. And yeah, that's what he did. And after that, little warning message to his enemy, Plankton just walked out of the Krusty Krab, and then, after the whole catastrophe, Plankton, I mean, Mr. Krabs asked um, Pearl to let them free in exchange for mall money. And that's what he does. I mean, that's what he does. He gives the money to Pearl, and the two of them have got out. And so, which, that after they were free... Mr. Krabs asks his daughter a favor about scaring Plankton in exchange for more mall money. And then when Mr. Krabs says that he doesn't have any money, SpongeBob offers his money, which is which is a blatant ripoff of dollar, but instead it has the face of Mr. Krabs imprinted in it, and then he get and, and, and SpongeBob gives it to Pearl. And which he points out that the money is now real, and which because of the fact that 
Sp Mr. Krabs has been paying his employees, mainly SpongeBob, to to give him his ripoff of his wacky dollars. So, yeah, his wacky bucks and everything. And so, Mr. Krabs pleased with Pearl to scare Plankton in exchange for of him doing her homework. Pearl denies because of the fact that she doesn't want to go to the chum bucket because it is disgusting. And so, in a literal sense, Mr. Krabs, UGH Krabs, asks his daughter if he can borrow one of her dresses, and which confuses SpongeBob and Pearl. Meanwhile, at the chump, meanwhile, Plankton was running into the chum bucket where he tells his wife about what happened, and then he tells the story about how, how, how the whales had eaten his ancestors, and yeah, that's what basically what happened to Plankton's ancestors because they got eaten by whales. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> As if the writers of SpongeBob wanted to show us that even the tiniest minimal creatures can honestly be killed by something big. So anyway, Plankton relies on Pearl uh, on his predicament in which Pearl, I mean, Karen, oops, sorry, I meant to say, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but there is an error here because I just saying that Plankton's wife is Pearl, but in reality, her name is Karen. Anyway, Plankton rely, relies his predicament to Karen about what happened and which for instantly, she, she doesn't believe him and so... And then Karen orders Plankton to take out the trash, and that's what he did. Plankton goes outside, take out the trash, and then, out of nowhere, Pearl comes out from the dumpster and wants to eat Plankton. Plankton is terrifying, and he runs away back into the chum bucket where he barricades himself, all of it. And, throughout, and even in this lab, Pearl scares Plankton up to the point that he, that he warns his wife, and... And then he tells his wife that, 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 that he saw Pearl in the lab. And when they go to the lab, Pearl is not here. And Karen, honestly, as always, is do not believe her husband's pleas. And most importantly, she just walks away. And most importantly, she's so unlikable that she doesn't help her husband. And she walks away rather immaturely. Anyway, throughout these last 16 weeks... Plankton is filled with paranoia up to the point where he was on the brink of insanity. And so, yeah, Plankton has gone completely insane. He has a very disheveled beard. He has claws. He was wearing tissue boxes as slippers or shoes. And he instantly cried because of his fear of Pearl. And so, in the window, per Pearl is laughing. And wish you guys haven't noticed that in the window scene where Pearl is watching, you can honestly... Hear a very distinted masculine chuckling sound coming. Do you know who that chuckling sound is? I'm not gonna spoil it, but you're all gonna find out as soon as I go into review. As soon as I go in to do another analysis on the nightmare sequence that Plankton is having. Anyway, Plankton is having a nightmare when okay, Plankton was in his bed and he starts to have a nightmare about Pearl chasing him. And then, after that, Plankton gets trapped by Pearl, she swallows him, and then he meets his, his diseased ancestors. One of his ancestors told him that Plankton was standing on stomach acid, and with his legs got dissolved in the bone. And yet, in the dream sequence ends, with Pearl laughing so evilly that even the audience got so scared of that nightmare sequence. So yeah, Plankton wakes up in complete horror, and he cries again with fear. And so, at night at the window... Pearl was watching Plankton. And then after that, something really something really weird happening. And as soon as as soon as as soon as Pearl saw that, someone just took off the the costume and it revealed itself that it was Mr. Krabs all along wearing a Pearl suit. So yeah, you're honestly thinking that the real culprit of the story, or even the main antagonist, is actually Mr. UGH Krabs and a pearl and a and a and a this and a this in a dress, or in this case, a disguise disguising as his own daughter. So yeah, Mr. Krabs laughs his Mr. Crab laughs his butt off like no reason at all, and so yeah. Seriously, though, you don't have to, like, root for Mr. Krabs for what he did. So, yeah. The next day, SpongeBob was at the Krusty Krab cleaning, and then he saw Plankton lying on the road, and yeah. 
Plankton was on the road, and SpongeBob asked him what was going on, and then Plankton told him to shut up because he says that he wants to be run over. Do you hear me right, guys? He wants to be run over, which is an implied to saying that he wants to take his own life. So, yeah. Believe it or not, but yeah. I cannot even believe that the episode even contains some suicide scenes in a kid's show for some reason. Heck, even some episodes like Are You Happy Now from another Spongebob episode where there are some suicide joke outs in which Squibber hangs a noose from the house, but it was just a fake out because he was just carrying a scallop. And then in another scene where Squibber was baking some some cookies and he puts his head in the oven thinking he wants to kill himself and in reality he was just cooking, but the cooking went bad. So anyway, a, point from, a suicidal scene aside, Plankton just told Spongebob that he wants to be squished on, but then for some reason he cannot do that because it is not in the face of his good nature. Oh really, Spongebob? You're not going to do that in the face of your good nature? Let's look back at all the episodes of all the times that you have a good nature. You remember, you remember ripping Squibbert's toenail. You let your pet Gary be consumed by this monster. You remember all the times... Of all, you know, the horrific things that you've done, like, destroying Squibbers. Do you remember, like, interrupting Squib? Do you remember, like, when Squibber had this reality talk show and then you interrupt him? And yet, of all the bad things that you've done, Spongebob, is all because of the fact that you have a face of, of a good nature? Well, not only that, but that was also very hypocritical of you saying that because of all the nasty things you've done. And not to mention you're also a, not to mention that you're also a hypocrite for saying that. Not in the face of, a good, of his good nature. I'll tell you what. I was very hypocritical. Anyway. Spongebob just went into the Krusty Krab. And okay. Before the Spongebob scene. In Mr. Krabs' office. Mr. Krabs is laughing gleefully at Plankton's expense. And then he just erased a picture of him with a racer. And saying goodbye, piss squeak as as he is. So, and when okay, SpongeBob comes into into his office where he relies on Plankton's predicament being forlorn, and so Mr. Krabs is so delightfully delightful that his enemy is so you know is so scared about the fact because he was being tormented by the by by his fear of whales and by wearing a whale costume. It was it was just too much. And not only that, but Spongebob also calls on Mr. Krabs about the fact about, about him wearing a costume that scared Plankton so much to the point that it honestly went too far. And so not only that, but Mr. Krabs counteracts his, his, well, counteracts his, oh, never mind. Mr. Krabs counteracts his judgment to thinking that he was the one that he was, that he reveals the safe behind the painting behind of the Krusty Krab, I mean, of the Krabby Patty secret formula, and which Spongebob broke that rule. And so, which, yeah, Spongebob really felt guilty for what he did because of the fact that he revealed the secret of location, and like I said before, he is not that good at keeping secrets. And so, yeah. So anyway, by the next scene transition, Plankton is still on the street waiting to be, you know, you know, like, <coughs> you know, run over. Yeah, he has been, like, waiting for him to get run over by the bus and everything. And so Spongebob comes in and he tells Plankton everything. And he tells Plankton everything and also about the fact that he reveals the actual location of the secret because of the fact that the Krabby Patty secret formula is not, he's indeed, and indeed not behind the painting, behind, behind the crusty crab, behind the painting of the safe. So yeah. And also, Spongebob, as always, whispered to Plankton about the secret fear Mr. Krabs is having, and so he whispers to his ear. And not only that, but SpongeBob also reveals the secret to Plankton that Mr. Krabs was wearing a pearl suit all this time, which angers Plankton because he cannot even believe that his rival would scare him to the point because of his constant fear of well. And so, yeah. You probably all been wondering that Plankton would get the good ending and everything. Spoilers, it's not. So anyway, 
Plankton, Plankton knows about Mr. Krabs' secret and even his secret fear. And so, SpongeBob walks into the SpongeBob goes back into the Krusty Krab where Plankton grin, where Plankton grins evilly and he begins to laugh. So yeah. In the next scene, SpongeBob is in the office and Mr. Krabs is wearing the pearl suit again to scare Plankton. Once again. And so yeah. You all are probably wondering why Mr. Krabs was never punished for his actions against Plankton. So yeah, you probably all are thinking that Mr. Krabs is a Karma Houdini, and not only that, but he also doesn't get any consequences for his actions. So anyway, Plank I mean, Mr. Krabs goes in, goes in, and he sees Plankton, and so he prepares to scare Plankton again, but Plankton knows what, but Plankton knows that it's Mr. Krabs in a pearl suit, and so. Plankton activates his claw again to capture him, and then we get to review about Mr. Krabs' worst fear ever. His fear of all time was actually mimes. So yeah, Mr. Krabs gets scared because of the fact that it was a good chunk amount of karma from him to scaring his rival, or in this case, former best friend, to the point of, you know, to the, to the, to the brink of insanity, and up to the point that he almost straight up, like, almost straight up wanted to take a slide, and so... Plankton glee victory gleefully, Plankton, ble Plankton was having his own victory momentum, and yeah, and Paul will be thinking that Plankton will get the good ending, but no, it's not, and we're about to get that in a moment. So, yeah, anyway, SpongeBob comes in, and most importantly, that he informs Plankton that a whole pack of will just show up for his early feeding, and so... Plankton got scared once again, and he goes, and he, and he hides, and he leaves the Krusty Krab once again. But not only that, but the whole pack of whales was actually revealed to be a projector, or in this case, a hologram. SpongeBob deactivates the projector because it's revealed that the whales are not real because of the fact that SpongeBob had been waiting for that. So that way, that because of the fact that he had been waiting because of the fact that Plankton wanted to lose, and yet Mr. Krabs... And then Mr. Krabs be the winner. And so, and so, in a literal end, the end of the episode, SpongeBob frees Mr. Krabs. And we're in the end, in the ending scene where Mr. Krabs gets creeped out by the mind, saying that you're really creeping me out. And yeah, that's how it ends. That's how the episode ends. So yeah, wow, I cannot even believe it, but yeah. Hard to honestly believe it about the fact that this episode was actually considered to be one of the worst Spongebob episodes ever. And believe me, I've seen a lot of worse episodes apart from the fact that, well, there have been some worse episodes of each animated series, but not to this extent. And not only that, but also, fun fact about this episode, did you realize about the fact that the writers, and mainly the voice actor of Plankton, Doug Lawrence, actually disliked the episode? And not only that, but Clancy Brown, the voice actor of Mr. Krabs, felt really uncomfortable for recording the lines of the episode. And yeah, you all honestly knew about the fact that the writers have done very, very wrong about writing an episode where a main character goes on the brink of insanity and almost straight up losing his life by being ran over, in, in which, yeah. SpongeBob, like, back in the day, SpongeBob is not even that good because of the fact that it has a lot of flannerized characters, a lot of episodes that are really bad, and not only that, but it also stated out the obvious because of the fact that a lot of fans really hated season 6 to 8 of SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. It's no wonder and no mystery why people hated those seasons because of the fact that it has, like, the most flatterized characters coming from everything. And so, but, as always, they just go back to their status quo because of the fact that by season 9 and throughout the modern seasons of SpongeBob SquarePants, everybody has been reverted back to their original personalities and everything. Well, except for one character that stays, like, like that for the most time, and that is... Patrick Starr. So yeah, I cannot even believe that modern SpongeBob actually ruined Patrick's character by becoming more dumber. And he doesn't even have those moments of and he doesn't even have those smart moments like he did throughout the original, you know, golden seasons of SpongeBob SquarePants, mainly seasons one to three. But nevertheless, some people just think it because of the fact that a lot of SpongeBob episodes in the modern era were not that good. 
because of the fact that in the recent years following this year, they have they have been talk about some talks about some sequels from past episodes of the Golden Age era of SpongeBob, where they produced some sequels from the Golden Age of the first season. Well, yeah. Well, some fans have been complaining about because the fact that in one of these seasons or in these episodes of these sequels from season one is just stated because of the fact that those sequels were not as good as the original episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. I cannot believe I've been talking that much because of the fact that I am doing this part of review because of the fact that you all wanted me to review one course meal from SpongeBob Square Pants. And also, one final fact, do you realize that the episode's title was originally going to be titled Plankton Got Served? No, I'm not joking. That was the original title of the episode, Plankton Got Served. So, yeah, I don't know how the writers were thinking. Either you're going to choose between Plankton Got Served or One Course Meal. You just have to pick up one of your titles and everything because Plankton Got Served, One Course Meal... What kind of a person are you writing a title like that? I mean, gosh. Well, well, at least because of the fact that at least the writers had learned their lessons because because of the fact that they just don't want to put that kind of scenes in their cartoons, mainly SpongeBob and everything else. So, yeah. The writers really need to learn how to write better episodes. Heck, just bring back the original writers because of the fact that in that in 2025 they're going to be releasing the fourth SpongeBob movie, and not only that, but they're also going to release a Plankton spin-off movie featuring Plankton as the main character, and also not only that, but also, and also because of the fact that I know about the fact that all of you just wanted me to stay because of that that. Super Mario fan, please don't watch the the Sandy Cheeks movie because it's really bad. And yeah, I know about the fact that all of you don't want me to watch the Sandy Cheeks movie because it's bad. But but what would happen if I would have watched it so that way I could give this a chance? I have no clue why people hated it on that Sandy Cheeks movie. And yeah, well, yeah. Anyway, I hope you all like this review. I hope you all like this SpongeBob review on One Course Meal. I tend to do reviews for a reason and only. And so, and also... I think I'm going to have an announcement to all of you guys that I think you're really going to like this. Ever since I started Known for the Worst, would you wanted me to do a no would you wanted me to have a sequel series that is better than this one known as Known for the Best where instead I re where instead where instead I review it worst episodes, what if I would have just reviewed it the best episodes of each animated series? So, yeah. I'm thinking about making that series in the future, but yeah. I'm about to make that series of Known for the Best, where I review the best episodes and everything, so you can always, like, you can always stand in the comments section to thinking which best episodes should I review next. And also, another, another update between this channel, do you think that I should do, like, a very, I don't know, some sort of, like, a series where Matt Neff, well, he has this series where he features DW and talking about it, and he always says that infamous line of you know i'm not gonna say it but i'm just gonna do it in a in my way it's called screw you dw in which he reviewed a lot of episodes featuring arthur's little sister dw and not only that but he also reviewed some other care uh, 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 some other arthur characters who that honestly have their own spinoff series featuring francine muffy crosswire and even the tibble twins and not only that but he also has another series where where he reviewed another episode of another animated series where it's called it's just a cartoon in which he reviewed the episodes and everything and then at the end he always just saying screw you to the character for all the nasty things that they've done but yeah were you thinking that I would honestly do another series that is better than Matt Neff's, you know, his series and everything? Were you honestly wanted me to talk about, you wanted me to talk about, you know, one of the worst characters that I despise the most? Were you honestly thinking that I should do, should I like talking down insults and savage, and savage phrases to the one character that I hate the most? Well, I'll give you one anyway, and it's called Wayne Cramp from the Cramp Twins. And yeah, oh, and also fun fact about Wayne Cramp. 
Don't you notice that he was voiced by Tom Kenny, the that the voice actor who voices SpongeBob? So yeah, I definitely hate hated Wayne Crab and everything. And so I have a surprise for all of you, and I'm thinking that I should do this series called known as Crammed Wayne Cramp, in which I instantly talk about the purple, purple disgusting alien character kid who honestly do a lot of trouble in his town in South City, torturing his twin older brother Lu torturing his older twin brother Lucian and not even about the fact that he always stayed on his parents' side for most of the time. And not only that, but he also tends to be friends with this dirty hillbilly by the name of Dirty Joe and he has an obsession of collecting trash. So if you want me to do like, if you want me to do a series featuring Wayne Cramp or in this case, if you want me to make the Crammed Wing Cramp series, then can comment down below if you want me to do it. Or in fact, if you honestly give this video to at least like 50 or 100 likes, then maybe Crammed may, may, then maybe, just maybe Crammed Wing Cramp could become a reality. So yeah, that's all the things I need to get out of my chest. So yeah. Oh, hope all of you guys have all loved this video. I love tends to make videos to do this all the time. And I know that I don't frequently appear on YouTube for most of the time, but I'll do my best if we honestly, you know, since I'm at, I'm at 360 subscribers, do you thinking because the, and most importantly, if you honestly thinking that we could get this to another, if we could get to another 40 subscribers, maybe we should honestly, maybe we could reach this channel to 400 subscribers by the end of the year or sometime in 2025. But only time will tell, my faithful viewers. Well, guys, that's all for this video for today. I hope you all liked this video. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Don't forget to click like. Subscribe. Don't forget to click. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Don't forget to click like. Comment down below. And also share this with a lot of videos and friends. And also, I just wanted to give some shout outs to all my fans and everything. And so, yeah. Hopefully, things will get better in the future if my literal goal will be reaching the 400 subscribers on this channel. So anyway, guys, all you all, uh, hope, I, hope, I love seeing you all. But anyway, it's time for me to go. So thank you all for watching this video. So goodbye. And as always, I'll see you next time.